Okay, beautiful people. It's uh, ten thirty in the morning, and I need another coffee because I had one already. Uh, I'm indoors now, and uh, I think I'll go to my local shop, which is called Pear Tree. Uh, get the coffee and get some groceries done. Uh, in the meantime, my uh, uh, video uploading on the YouTube. Here we go. Uh, Twenty-four minutes left. Or well, eighteen actually. And uh, yeah, time to get ready and uh, have a nice, nice coffee. And I will show you around the Bay Area. See you in a bit. We are off now. It's time to have some coffee. It's a bit rubbish outside, as always. <laughs> But anyway, coffee time and uh, groceries time. I just want to show you my area. This is in Rotor Height. And it's a bit beautiful, beautiful view. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. That's Kenny Rolf over here. This place out and the summer is just perfect to have cocktails outside. Here you go. You don't think it would be a beach on the Thames that nice with that view. <laughs> this weather is just killing me. Uh, but I like it, it's not cold, it's pretty nice. Uh, I'm not far from Perry. It's a lovely little shop, it's um, uh, next to the Thames in a remote very uh, quiet area and uh, in Greenland Lock is called and uh, we go in there now oh, I actually need a hot drink but if you cannot ask for an extra hot flat white that's just uh, that's just wrong so uh, yeah I think, I think I'll have to deal with uh, just a normal warm drink as a flat white. Uh, I, shall, uh, I shall show you Nice to say, it is. Uh, has some hidden gems, absolutely beautiful. Uh, imagine having your coffee over there in the morning and uh, watching this, and also watching uh, Canary Wharf at the, at the background. It's JP Morgan over there. Hey, and uh, yeah, lovely place. Let's go and get that coffee. We are here. I like my hair, it's all over the place. Yeah, so pear tree. Oh my god, this is so good. I already 
I have my coffee from there. It was a bit uh, weird inside because, um, you know, with the restriction you cannot, uh, you just have to take it away and, uh, and go when I was in queue, so I could not film for you guys. Uh, but it's a great coffee, it's what I need to I think I'm addicted to the coffee because if I don't drink it, I'm so moody. The liquor is so, so good, so, yeah, especially this weather. <laughs> so I got my... Uh, Shopping done. Yeah, I think I need to go to the gym because <laughs> this camera is heavy. I mean, the camera is very light. It's the lightest uh, mirrorless camera that you can uh, you can actually get. But um, with the rig on and everything, it's it's heavy. And I haven't uh, uh, been to the gym or do any exercise for for a few months now. I feel terrible and because I'm a, such a sporty guy and uh, I'm always active. So yeah, I hate this, this restrictions on. I hate it. This coronavirus is uh, getting on my nerves now. Um, yeah, lucky me, I uh, because I work in a, uh, in the industry that uh, transport industry. Uh, I'm allowed to go out because I'm a key worker, so I can go out and about, especially for work, honestly. Um, so in that sense, I've been uh, I've been lucky last year because I still can do. Uh, instead of um, taking the tube, which was not recommended during the lockdown, I was uh, I was running towards my workplace and then from jogging, and then uh, on the way back the same. So uh, I done a bit of exercise, but this time on uh, on this weather, I cannot do that. So mm. let me know what you like to see. Obviously not my hair because it's rubbish because of this, um, but that's the idea. So um, the idea is to I hope it's focused. Um, the idea is to showcase the um, uh, coffee shops, specialty coffee shops, and um, how uh, the interaction with the customers to them. And why should you go in a coffee shop and not go to a chain? Uh, and then, to be honest, with this pandemic, most of the chains, uh, like chain, like uh, on, I don't want to give names here, uh, they kind of start to go bankrupt and close. And uh, for me, coffee has to be. Um, quality because if you pay some money for it and uh, like any other products if you pay money for a, a good product it should be good um, but I notice um, especially in developed countries like you know Western countries that uh, it's more about uh, money 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 not, not about the product not about the customers and so on and that uh, makes me sad so that's why I started to do Instagram on YouTube about the majority of shows uh, local businesses it's because um, Small business, uh, I think uh, they, uh, I think they uh, give more, um, uh, give you more for your money. You know, customer service is different. Uh, you get uh, to know the, the owners, the barista. You can see the vibe inside is different than in a normal uh, uh, coffee shop where you just uh, pay and go, pay and go. I hate that. I hate that, especially here in UK. It's only about consumer. Uh, just. Uh, I'll take your money and just go away. Um, that's why, for example, if you, uh, not only in UK but some other countries, uh, if you if you go in the chains, like what they have, uh, more than ten uh, coffee shops, the same brand, you will see they don't have a um, uh, comfortable seat inside. They have that wooden seat stools that you just uh, stay on it for a few minutes and go away because they don't want you to stay there. They just want you to buy and go, which is. Uh, wrong for me so um, that's why I wanted to do the um, uh, uh, specialty coffee shops and since I've been doing the Instagram I met so m so many owners coffee shop owners and baristas and I met so many friends which is uh, which is um, I like it I like it to be honest and I have my favorites of course uh, and lot a lot of shops are opening now and uh, I hope I'll be part of uh, you know, lifestyle and uh, the environment <laughs> Uh, but let me know in the comments, if you want to comment, um, uh, what's your favorite coffee shop and why are you going?